Hi guys, today we have two art project options this week for art class. They are both based on Native American artwork and they are based on this story, The Buffalo Hunt. The reason that I chose to teach you about Native American artwork this week is because it's Native American History Month in November and with Thanksgiving coming up I thought that you could enjoy learning a little bit about the history of Native Americans and why we celebrate Thanksgiving in a little bit um, untraditional way. Usually we're used to reading stories about turkeys or maybe um, the pilgrims, but Native Americans have played a big role in our Thanksgiving tradition. And so I've chosen to focus on the story, The Buffalo Hunt, for our Native American history lesson that ties into our art projects this week. Um, I'm gonna read this story in another link just so that you can play it while you're working possibly or when you have downtime because it's a very long story. Um, but I wanted to review the lessons with you, the art projects that you can make this week. There's also gonna be other links with demonstrations that you can click on so that you can see step-by-step -step how to do the painting lesson. Um, there's a painting lesson where you can paint feathers and this would be a good lesson for kindergarten, first grade, but it could also be fun for a second, third, or fourth grader to do. Um, so that's an option. And if you don't have the materials for the painting lesson, you can always just use like crayons or markers or colored pencils, whatever you have at home, you can do the drawing portion. Um, there's also a way that you can turn markers into paint by just drawing with markers and going over them with a cotton ball or a Q-tip or a paintbrush. So markers can kind of do a watercolor effect too if you just want to use markers and water. Um, the TP is a little bit more of an advanced project. If you're a kindergartner and you want to make the TP, that's awesome, but you just might need a little bit of help from a parent. We used a brown paper bag for the TP shape, and so you'll need help cutting that. I'm going to review the steps for the TP because there's not really um, going to be a demonstration on that other than just looking at the steps. So you can pause the video. As you do the steps, if you would like to do the TP project, and then I'm going to read the steps to you. Step one is to flatten a brown bag. Step two is to trim the brown bag. I've included a video on how to trim the brown bag that my son um, did because he just started trying to cut into it and it helped if you flattened it a certain way. Step three is to draw two triangles on your brown bag. The two triangles would be the triangle on the outside and the triangle on the inside. If you draw lines with a pencil or Sharpie on your TP, once you get it cut out. So when I say draw lines, these black and green lines that you see, they were drawn first with a pencil and then I went over my pencil lines with Elmer's white glue. So if you want colorful lines like this, you can't just start using markers to draw your lines because they're not gonna show up as good on the paper bag. You're gonna wanna go over your lines with Elmer's white glue. So you're gonna draw your lines with pencil or Sharpie first, and then you're gonna go over your lines. Step five is with Elmer's glue. And so when I say that, I mean you just, um, squeeze Elmer's glue onto your TP lines, just really thin. And then what you're gonna do is sprinkle the glue with salt, and you're gonna have to let that dry. So I did that step yesterday, and then today I painted it. So the last step is using watercolor paints to paint this. And so this lesson is really cool because you have a, a neat texture on your um, TP and you also have really vibrant colors. If you just cut out a brown bag and draw lines on it with markers, that's a way you could do this lesson too. But I think that the salt and the glue kind of give it a neat effect. So it's totally up to you and what supplies you have and what you're allowed to use at home. This project is just a drawing lesson the feathers and we did a painting technique with a paper towel and I'm going to include that in, in a demonstration with this lesson. So I hope you get to click on all the links so that you understand step by step how to do these projects. But 
um, I wanted to give you an overview and you can just watch this video you don't have to watch any more if you understand but there's a lot of lessons like more detailed lesson videos included in this post okay well have fun creating and I hope you enjoy the lesson today thank you